Hey everybody, Bayzat here, back again with Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got another very exciting jean to tell you about. It's the new Double Dirty Fade Selvage, the latest release, part of the Naked and Famous Denim Spring Summer 2023 collection. As always, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, all the details, how they came to be, our thoughts and opinions, some scratch tests, some other stuff probably. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But you're going to find out uh, if you stick around all the way to the end of the video. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We just hit 10,000 subscribers, everybody. So thank you so much for all your support. And uh, with that said, we're going to get started. We're going to hit this little intro and then Risa is going to start us off with the specs. So Double Dirty Fade Selvage is a 14 and a half ounce Japanese selvage denim. It's 100% cotton. And as the name suggests, this is a new iteration of Dirty Fade Selvage, which right. is a uh, part of our big part of our core collection. Right. And uh, this this denim is made using the same Dirty Fade Warp. So it's the natural brown cotton uh, dyed in, rope dyed in mm -hmm. indigo on the outside. And then on the inside, we use a brown dyed cotton. Yes. Yarn. So that's the the way we came up with the right. name Dirty Fade. So, so double the dirtiness, right? right? So we we the original name double sorry, the original name Dirty Fade uh came to be because we did start off with that natural colored cotton and then as you said, rope dyed in indigo. So as that denim fades, the indigo will start to fade away and start to reveal that more natural yellowish brown cotton color. And it kind of gives the denim a more vintage dirty look mm -hmm. because most jeans, we start off with a bleached cotton yarn. So it's very white. So as your jeans fade, they start to look more bright blue. And of course you have that natural tone. So it looks a little bit more dirty, but uh, as we approach our, as actually we are in our 15 year anniversary. So now we're having a lot of fun looking back at a lot of the jeans that, you know, we love, you know, our core collection items and seeing different ways that we can play around with it. And that's what we did here with the Double Dirty Fade. So we added that brown weft to give it that extra layer of dirtiness. So as the warp fades, you're gonna get that brownish tone. And then you have the brown tone from the weft peeking through the front face of the fabric to give you double the dirty action. Mm -hmm. right. And it really, just by switching the warp uh, weft color, it really changes the, 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 oh, yeah. the look of the denim. It, the indigo looks much more deep and warm tone mm -hmm. in this denim. Yeah. it's uh, if you're a fan of the Dirty Fade, like you will find a new way to enjoy the Dirty Fade with this, right? right? It, it It's not going to feel like the exact same jean. Right. It's right. also funny because a lot of people sometimes like ask us that Dirty Fade is going to fade brown because of the weft color. Yeah. And it's not. The weft color is a regular white color mm -hmm. on the original Dirty Fade. So now you can see the difference what yeah. a weft can make. Yeah, absolutely. And that's actually what I really like about this denim is the weft, right? The dark brown weft really feels like, it really feels like a vintage jean. But the reality is, is that like brown wefts like this really haven't been around for very long. I say like within the last five or 10 years, did we really start to see brown wefts emerging? Mm -hmm. And so it feels like a vintage jean and it like, it'll easily go into your raw denim wardrobe without feeling like, you know, something totally out there. I know we make a lot of like colored denims, like uh, like a purple weft or a red weft or a green weft. And these are great, I love them, don't get me wrong, but they're not for everybody. Mm -hmm. And so if you want a classic toned denim that is a little bit different, this is a way that you can do that. And the reality is it's not actually all that classic. It's still a, it's more of a modern innovation. Right, right? definitely. It's more grown up version mm -hmm. of experimental color weft denim world. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this denim, the base of the fabric is exactly the same as Dirty Fade, so, right? Right. So it is 14 and a half ounce rigid. Speaking of rigid, we should get into the right. sound test here because like you can see like with the double Dirty Fade, like it is a particularly rigid denim. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, it's not particularly slubby, but you're going to hear the difference right now mm -hmm. between a slubby denim and a smooth textured rigid denim. Well, you might not hear the difference unless you watch other videos, but anyways, we're going to get into it right now. So. Um, it's sounding exactly the way I thought it would sound. It's, right. it's like, you know, it is a rigid denim. It is not a lightweight denim. So I can definitely hear the scratchiness, yeah. but it is not 
like a slubby denim, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so you don't get the grittiness right. and you don't get the bassy sound. Right. So exactly. if you can't feel the jeans in person, at least you can hear them with the scratch test. And hopefully these scratch tests are coming through. Anyways, let me know. Do, do the jeans sound like they feel? <laughs> like if you ever get a pair like this, scratch it for yourself and then feel it. Anyways, I, I want to know your reactions. Because right. I personally think they they do a good job representing it. I think it does yeah. show the side that maybe you can't, you know, see through yeah. the video. Right. So, so hopefully so, it's helping. Yeah. Either so, way, um, it's another question is how is it going to fade? Right. So we talked about it a little bit earlier about how the warp side basically determines how these mm -hmm. jeans are going to fade. So because this is the same yarns as the Dirty Fade Selvage, you're going to have more of a earthy, yellowy, brownish kind of tone on the warp side. But because the weft is brown and you can see the weft peeking through the front face of the fabric, it's gonna give the denim an overall very, very warm tone. And now I, I wish I had a faded pair of these right away to show you, but I don't. But we have done some other brown weft jeans in the past. So I'm gonna show some pictures right here and you can see how that brown weft is coming through. And you can also notice that when the fabric breaks, mm -hmm. like if you rip it or tear it, you know, some damage starts to appear that brown weft will start to show through much more obviously. So mm -hmm. uh, a beautiful fading denim, and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys do to them. So uh, the, the Dirty Fade is a particularly, I would I would call it a fast fader. So I, I have a feeling that we're going to see some some po photos posted online sooner than later with Let's these guys. Forward to it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, now, let's get into the details of these jeans. And we'll start off here with the brown leather patch, uh, a pretty classic tone. I would say that it matches the weft quite nicely. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got some contrast stitching here. And one thing to note that compared to the original Dirty Fade, the, uh, the the stitching is a little bit of a different tone. Again, I would say that it's more matched to the weft color. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so, more muted. Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit more muted, right. Um, we also have on the inside our, our custom hardware. So we have the Naked and Famous denim buttons here and the Jetador Toot New Rivets. These are all made for us by YKK in the USA. And uh, of course, the main event is that interior, right? Mm -hmm. You've got that beautiful brown weft and uh, that great chocolate tone. And then you've got it paired up with that classic red line selvage ID. Mm -hmm. Right. Very handsome. Yeah, very, very handsome jean. Now, these are going to be available in a couple of fits. So we've got our super guy, we've got our weird guy, and we've got our easy guy. We also have them. Uh, we also have this available in a denim jacket, mm -hmm. so you can go full on double dirty fade mm -hmm. armor if you wish. The we denim jacket is great with the collared weft because you can kind of, you know, you wear it open, you can kind of see it from this. Yeah, side. show yeah. show off that interior weft. It's mm -hmm. going to look really, really handsome. And uh, if you want to get a pair of these, we've got a blog post listed here in the description below. We've got a full retailer availability with all the fits uh, available at, at each retailer. So go out there and support your local guy. And uh, if you have any questions, I think I'm wrapping things up now. Uh, if you have any questions about these jeans, uh, don't forget you can ask us right here in the comments section below. Risa and I also do a weekly live stream right here on YouTube Friday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern. So join us live and we'll answer your questions live and uh, we'll probably show off some new stuff. And yeah. uh, we'll play some new fun games sometimes. Yeah, too, yeah, that's with, it. With the like button yeah, and it's, stuff. It's, <laughs> a, it's a great hangout. So uh, yeah. if you like raw denim, uh, you'll, you'll certainly enjoy hanging out with us mm -hmm. there. Um, is there anything we forgot about these jeans? I don't think so. Okay. I think we covered it. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll leave it there and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye-bye everyone.